What's up you guys? Welcome back to the channel. So it's time for one of these videos, is it? We are filming an assumptions video today. I hit you guys up on Instagram, you know, with those little drop boxes asking if you happen to assume anything about me and then I'm supposed to answer that assumption. So that's what we're doing today. I've been uh, assuming lately that you're assuming things about me, so that's why we're here. <laughs> yeah, so I figured this would be really fun and a nice way to kind of get to know the real me. I do have to say though, about 90% of your assumptions are scaringly correct. Y'all be shock of me. I definitely take it as a good thing because I want to have you guys feel as close to me as I feel to you. I'm trying to be BFFs with all of y'all, all right? Without further ado, let's get into this freaking video, all right? But first, if you're not already, definitely hit that subscribe button and follow your girl on IG and TikTok because I'm new on there for all things fitness because together we got this. Let's go. Y'all are real good. I just gotta say that um, it's gonna be pretty entertaining. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna just randomly pick some questions. Thank you guys so much for submitting these assumptions. I will have the question from the asker pop up on the screen. So this is completely random. You ready? Assumption number one. <laughs> You're an introverted extrovert. 100% correct. I actually really love being alone a lot of the time. It's kind of scary. Everyone makes fun of me, my family. They're like, you're in a bubble, like, where are you, Ash? I'm just like, I don't know, I'm just doing my thing. But I also am very extroverted in the sense that, I don't know, I think, you know, being on social media explains it, doesn't it? <laughs> you gotta be a little bit extroverted to do this crazy shiz. You were always the fun one in your friend group. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I don't want to speak for anybody else, but put it this way, it wasn't a party till I arrived. No, I'm just messing with you, <laughs> not really. That you would be the best bestie. You'd hype your girls up all the time. Absolutely, man. We lifting up each other's crowns up in here. We're just out to have a good time. I love to hype everybody up that I know. That's just how I vibe. You take a look at my Instagram stories and I'm always trying to just like bring everybody else up. Support fellow creators, fellow gals. You know, we're all in this together, baby. Together we got this. It's true. You secretly dislike some Gymshark collections slash pieces, but still keep them. Is that so? <laughs> <laughs> all right, so the truth is, you all know I love Gymshark, but I would be lying if I said I didn't prefer some collections over others. If you saw my active wear closet tour, pretty much I gave you the answer right there, what my favorite pieces were, and they were the ones hanging up, easy access. But there's ones I just don't prefer as much. It's true. In general, I love seamless. There's no denying that. So that's obviously my go-tos. I mean, to say I dislike a Gymshark collection feels very wrong in that sense because I have a burning passion for that brand. You did cheerleading and drill team in high school. No. I would never be a cheerleader because I can't actually remember choreography or anything for that matter. I have a very, very bad memory. <laughs> I, uh, I can't remember anything. So dance moves, you name it, no. You're more like your dad than your mom personality wise. Yes. I love my daddy. That's my daddy. Me and my dad are like two peas in a pod. We get each other on so many levels. Um, he's just like this big jolly Italian guy and he's so sweet and kind and loving and generous and he'll literally give the shirt off his back. And I do pride myself in trying to be a lot like him. And Bay's parents actually say that we're very similar too. I love my mama, don't get it twisted. But me and daddy is, uh, well, I'm a daddy's girl. You are getting married soon. We wanna get married soon, but with COVID taking place, it just kind of left everything in shambles. We're still gonna get married, but we just don't know when. For the love of God, we have no idea. You wear the pants in the relationship. I don't know, babe, what do you think of that? I would say that's accurate. <laughs> I wouldn't say I wear the pants. It's like we each have a leg. Yeah, I'm gonna go with, we each put like one leg in one pant leg and it seems to work. We support each other like that, weirdly enough. Um, <clears throat> but I wear the pants. You bleached your hair once and never again. 
Yeah, dang. Yeah, it was a nightmare. I'm gonna give you a piece of advice, girlfriend. And that is to always, always go with a licensed hairapist. For the love of God. So like last year, I went to get my hair bleached blonder and it like got fried off. It was only midway through my session where the hairdresser actually admitted that she didn't um, have like any kind of license to do hair. So I was like in the chair, literally like, oh, f I hope I didn't, you know, make a mistake. And I did, I actually did. My hair was like 20 different shades of blonde and brown. It was a hot mess and I'll never do that again. I'm actually terrified to ever go lighter with my hair because of that freaking experience. You love being the center of attention. Actually, I know this is like strange since I'm like on YouTube right now for all to see, but I actually hate being the center of attention, which is why between you guys, I just don't even want like a wedding that much because I don't want to be the center of attention. I don't like when all eyes are on me. It bothers me. Don't know why. And like I said, it's kind of ironic because I'm doing social media, but it's like one of those things where I'm just kind of like, nah, like let someone else kind of have the attention. I'm just gonna sit back a little bit. <laughs> you never have cheat meals. Oh girl, I love my cheat meals. I probably have like one cheat meal a week on average, but um, to say never is absolutely not correct. I love my pizza, I love my cheeseburgers, uh, I love my sushi, and I love, what else do I love? And I love my freaking sweets. Could you imagine a life without cheesecake? You don't buy most of your Gymshark that it gets sent to you before working with Gymshark, which mind you, we only started working together in late August, early September. And I've been making Gymshark videos for well over a year, going on two years now. During that time, like the full, pretty much two whole years, I bought everything. Like I spent a lot of freaking money just to kind of film YouTube videos. And mind you, during this time, I was trying to do YouTube full time while he was in school. So he was working the three jobs and I was just filming YouTubes all the time. So any money we would have left over at the end of the month, went to buying some more Gymshark to talk about. Yeah. So it was not until, what, almost five, six months ago when I started working with Gymshark. And then that's when I started seeing that I was being gifted things regularly, which is amazing and it really helped me to kind of put out more content, valuable content. And it honestly feels good because I feel like we definitely paid our dues, especially when we really we didn't really have the, the finances to uh, accommodate such huge hauls, but we just did it. That you don't care what people think about you. Also, I love you so much. Love you too, baby. I definitely care about what my audience thinks of me um, and my family, of course. But if we're talking just like external, the world, as long as I'm proud of who I am. Growing up, my younger years, I always kind of in the back of my head thought about how people perceive me and I cared a lot and I invest a lot of like energy into that. Valuable energy and giving a crap about what everyone thought of me. When in all actuality, all that matters is how you think of yourself. Like what do you, how do you view yourself? And that's all that matters. Make yourself happy first, fuck everybody else. <laughs> I know that my true audience, my true ride or dies will love it as well. So I think that's all that matters really in life is just enjoying what you're doing and being proud of what you're doing. You have always been super fit. So this is actually not true at all. So there was definitely a time in my life, especially like my teen years where I was extremely lazy. <laughs> I didn't do anything, I didn't work out. This is before the gym. And all I did was sit on AOL Instant Messenger when that was a hot thing to do. And just eat bagels all day. When I, go, when I get hungry, I would go eat a bagel and then sit down all day and chit chat. I was definitely like out of shape for sure. And I really feel like fit is more or less a feeling than so much of a size and appearance kind of thing. So I feel my best now as opposed to even back then. You are a night person. Nah. <laughs> I'm a morning person more than anything. I actually am in bed about seven or eight o'clock at night. I'm early to bed, early to rise because that's what makes you healthy, wealthy, and wise. Your mental health is on point. Hmm. So this is an interesting one because it's not always on point, believe me. I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I do not respond well with like high stress situations. And I truly believe that is like where Bay like just shines for me. 
he's like my crutch and my rock. Like without him, I don't even know where I would be and the shiz I would be dealing with. <laughs> but yeah, he's, he's much better. So we kind of, it's like a yin and yang kind of thing. And I geek out with stress. I get depressed during certain times of the year, like seasonal depression like right now, but for real, my mood kind of like sways on and off. So I really wish I could say that my mental health was on point and I try, but it's definitely a struggle sometimes. I'm not gonna lie, I'm just keeping it real with you guys. The only active wear you really like is Gymshark. You are wicked smart. Thanks girl for assuming that. You know, I'm gonna be real. Um, I was a very average student <laughs> in like my early years. I only ever like did well in college is when I finally got into like graphic design and computer oriented stuff. Other than that, I was mad average at everything. I didn't do extracurricular activities. I was very much a boring soul. <laughs> I feel like in very few topics, I like know a lot weirdly enough, but in a lot of other things, I know nothing. So, wicked smart depends on how you look at it. I feel like I'm more street smart than smart. See, I'm smart. I definitely feel like I'm more street smart than book smart. That's how I've always been. Like if you catch me on the streets, like I can maneuver my way around somehow and make things work. But, you know, reading a book, I gotta read it like the same page like 10 times for it to sink in if it does. After I graduated with the Associates in Graphic Design though, I did take it to a university level. I was doing social media, getting a bachelor's in social media theory and strategy, but I dropped out the first semester because I realized that I wanted to actually pursue what I wanted to pursue out of college now. I didn't want to wait till after college when I had loans and stuff. I wanted to pursue what I wanted to pursue then and there, and I'm glad I did. You wish you were taller? You know, I always used to wish I was taller. I really did. I always felt like, you know what, I'm over being short. But for some reason, now I just feel like, you know what, being a shorty, it's kind of badass, don't you think? I mean, I feel like it works for me. And for the love of God, when I met Bay, <laughs> I couldn't even imagine if I was tall, I'd be taller than him. He's only what? You're only a few inches taller than me, right? 5'10". <laughs> Come on now. I think that's when I got really thankful that I wasn't taller. I said, wow, I met the love of my life and I'm just really happy. And we can't wait, I don't wanna do eye level, okay? I don't, I, don't want, I don't want that, man. This is a really good one. You sometimes wear a mask to hide how you really feel on social media. So in all honesty, I truly don't feel like I wear a mask. I definitely do feel over the years of social media, I've slowly become more and more of myself, if anything. Um, I don't try to hide anything because I feel like it's good to be relatable in life. And if you were to ask any of my very few friends <laughs> that I have, if you were to ask them like, who's the real Ash? What you see on camera is pretty much the same Ash that you see in real life and get to know in real life. Um, I've always been a little bit of a freak of nature, yeah. I've been told I was weird in high school, yeah. I probably still am and a lot of people probably think that my personality is a little bit freakish. But you know what though? That's who I am, girl. And I'm just trying to keep it real. It's always good to keep in mind, like social media in general is a highlight reel. So I personally try to keep it as real as possible and authentic because I love when I see authentic people not afraid to talk about bad days or anything, you know, or kind of curse a little bit and be frustrated with stuff because nothing's perfect. So I, I tend to love those kinds of accounts that are just like, whatever, man, this is life and we all deal with this over the people who are just like, yay, everything's peaches and cream all the time, life is perfect, cause come on man, like, no one's life is freaking perfect. Don't ever get it twisted, girl. So no, I don't think I wear a mask, and neither should you, baby. Okay, <laughs> ow, <laughs> rip my extension out of my head, why don't you? Uh, yeah, so that was it, guys. That was the assumptions that y'all made about me. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, found it entertaining. I know I definitely did. That, that was pretty nice, all right? You guys, y'all mad sweet though, okay? You could have assumed things like, I'm a freaking behind the scenes, but you didn't say that, so thank you. <laughs> so definitely give this video a like, subscribe if you enjoyed. Right now, I am sweating profusely, and I'm burning up from all the lights everywhere. 
So I gotta go. Thank you all so much for watching. I love you guys so much and I will catch you in my next video. Whew.